Hello everyone and welcome to another GTA Online discussion video and in this one I'm going to be talking about the Rockstar Livestream crew battle that myself and Shaggy took part in. Uh, it's going to be one of those rambling videos where I'm just going to talk uh, and, and try to try to explain my thoughts on it and what my, my own perspective on it. It's, it's something that I'm not going to find easy, I don't think. Um, but yeah, if you, if you don't like these rambling sort of videos, I have no idea how long it's going to be. The footage that you're watching, I'm not watching. Normally I put in the footage into Vegas and then record over it so I know what's playing at the same time and I can talk about the footage. I'm not going to do that today. I'm literally just recording this uh, and then I'm going to edit the footage in afterwards. It's just going to show some highlights of my perspective on it. Um, you know, show, show what happened to me throughout the event, but I'm not actively going to be focusing on any of the any of the footage in the actual video so ever since the event you know it was on friday for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about myself and shaggy last monday were uh, asked to be part of the official rockstar live stream this friday it was on it was on last friday and uh, we basically we had a week to organize it we organized it ourselves pretty much you know i created a spreadsheet with all the rules and things like that that we uh, that we laid out for the for the stream to sort of showcase proper racing and and showcase the sort of thing that we do now ever since the event finished on friday i've been very conflicted uh, i guess is the best word it's it's very rare for me not to have a clear opinion of, about something um and this this caused all sorts of emotions for me you know i mean the initial one after the event was disappointment um frustration you know i was completely demotivated uh, i i i wanted to practice for the multi-class endurance championship which was happening on the sunday I didn't do any of that you know i just i just felt like i didn't want to play the game at all um and the reasons for that are pretty much everything that shaggy mentioned in his video now i'm going to link that down below he does a very good job of basically from an event perspective from a from a uh, perspective of how the event went and whether it was a serious racing event or not you know he does a very good job of pretty much explaining that it wasn't a serious racing event you know it, it was it was advertised as an elite crew battle um, but the way that it was sort of organized we probably could have done a better job ourselves um, to to organize something like this you know the, we had the devs in there they were had no you know care in the world about what we were trying to do or what we were trying to show they were you know missing the breaking points entirely causing havoc at the start you'll see some of the footage in it in this video i missed a checkpoint at one point because the devs just completely screwed me over had to respawn then when i went back and overtook them you know he completely missed his breaking point again uh, and and smashed into me as i was turning into the corner and then he complained about me spinning him out um so you know from that part of from that side of it it was it was a bit of a a bit of a nightmare you know it was a complete mockery made of the whole event really as an elite crew v crew battle it just wasn't you know don't pay any attention as shaggy mentioned don't pay any attention to the results you know don't pay any attention to what happened it was it was more a case of luck than anything else doodle won the first three races um and he said at the end it was because he he started in second and could just get past the dev who was on pole and not get messed up with all of the other uh, crap that happened behind so you know from an event perspective it wasn't the most serious in the world one of the devs respawned at one point uh, caused a caused a, uh, a jeep to spawn at one point in the race that messed shaggy up it it wasn't it wasn't a serious racing event let's put it that way we've we've done better ourselves in terms of organizing a serious racing event so you know the the one hope that we had when we were going into this and i was always thinking about this was trying to showcase what we do as a racing community on gta and also hopefully bring up some of the issues that we have with the game and what prevents us from from really getting the most enjoyment out of the game that we could now before the before the event even started you know we we were in a skype call with the guys who who were sort of hosting the live stream uh, and and we were able to give a few a few sort of um bits of feedback about the th the problems that we have uh, about the game you know care boosts and the the 
you know, hitting on the kerbs when a, when a Turismo respawns, you know, things like that. Uh, the problems that we have, lampposts being knocked over, all that kind of stuff, respawning cars and pedestrians. So we, we gave a few of those, but then we were told that, you know, the, the live stream was starting soon and we, we'll uh, have a have a stay on the call at the end of the at the end of the event so we can give these in a little bit more detail and really really say what we needed to say but don't bring it up throughout the stream was the idea um, but when obviously when the when the event finished the Skype call ended and we didn't get a chance to do that now I have actually reached out to Rockstar to the guys who we were talking to with an email just saying you know is it is it possible for us to still be able to do that you know it could have just been a connection issue with the call obviously you know at that point they were probably leaving work at that point and they haven't been on since I have reached out to them with an email whether we'll hear anything back I hope we do um, but if not then that's probably just another slap in the face uh, so yeah we, we did try to get across some of the issues that we have in terms of being able to race properly and things like that did we get it did we do it properly I don't know did we get a chance to really give our give our thoughts on it probably not um, and will those get even get passed on? I just don't know. You know, I just really don't know. Uh, I did bring up the racing DLC post, uh, and a lot of people did in the chat as well during the Twitch stream. So thanks for that. Um, and I was basically told, you know, the only real way to get through to the devs is by the the email address that we always get given, which doesn't really do anything. So yeah, um, disappointment initially at the end of the stream. You know, it it, it didn't really the event itself. I lost motivation after the North Loop, uh, which you'll see some of the footage, you might have already seen it at this point in the video. After the North Loop, when I was 30 seconds behind and realised it was just a complete shit show uh, in terms of what the what the devs are going to do to smash everybody up, I completely lost motivation for the racing. I didn't really try in the next few races. Tried a little bit on Blaine County, but you know, I just, I just lost all motivation for this being a proper event and I just wanted to try and uh get some good battles in to show that you know this is possible on gta but they weren't really even focusing on that they were mainly just focusing on whoever was in the lead of the race at any one moment so yeah it, it was demotivating initially um and i just did not want to play gta whatsoever i just i didn't put on the game you know i was absolutely shattered from uh the, the week beforehand you know we, we had to organize this ourselves we were really putting in a lot of effort for it we were we were really trying our best to make this as much of a proper racing event as we possibly could you know we weren't going to have much practice but that didn't really matter we just wanted to showcase a proper event however having said that you know the two days beforehand we spent all day thursday and all day friday practicing the tracks practicing the cars that we were going to use for this event really knowing our stuff about the circuits about which cars that were best to use on each circuit and why you know we weren't just doing this as a crew we were both crews were coming together and doing this as well you know we were racing with sweat buckets all the time they were racing with us we we, 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 were, we were working together for this event we weren't adversaries on this event you know we, we wanted to showcase what proper racing on gta was like so we we went into it having put in a lot of work uh, so that probably went to a little bit of the disappointment that I felt at the end of it but I think expectations of the event from myself and Shaggy and everybody else in the racing community were probably too high you know we we probably expected more than we should have done maybe that was our fault maybe that was Rockstar's fault I just don't know but looking back on it now you know I I certainly had more expectations for what it was going to be you know I felt that this was going to be a huge thing for the racing community that we were able to I thought you know we could have spoken a lot more about uh, about the things that we do uh, constantly ask questions about it you know um, have give, try to give some insight into what we do in in the community and and the racing that that we take part in but we didn't really get a chance to do that you know we got the odd question every now and again but I, I really don't think we got the chance to show exactly what the, the community is like and what the community does. And I would say that, you know, some of the some of the responses and the reactions that people within both crews have uh, have given have been remarkable. Um, and they really picked me up initially on, on Saturday morning when I was uh, 
eating my uh, eating my breakfast I almost choked on when I was watching one of the videos I'll link that down below it's it's basically of the guy laughing uh, and and um, the there's a lot of uh, annotations on the bottom to basically you know it's it's like the Hitler video uh, where there's different annotations on the bottom and somebody from our crew also made that one of those as well I'm going to link all these videos in the description you should definitely definitely watch them because they are absolutely hilarious and not that far removed from the truth of what actually happened in the event um, and there's also a few uh, comic strips as well that drift in from our crew made I'm going to show one of those right at the end because it really does show uh, it's a different one to the one Shaggy showed, but it, it really does show sort of our perspective on it, you know, um, and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that at the end. But the, the, community's, the community's reaction to it was generally very, very sarcastic, <laughs> you know, it was, a, it was like, what it was, what have we just seen? Um, you know, as a serious racing event, I think everybody who knew anything about what we do uh, and and watch us regularly and watch the kind of thing that we do knew straight away from from the first or second race that this wasn't going to be anywhere near as serious as what it was either advertised to be or what we've already done ourselves so from that perspective it was a disappointment I was very demotivated but the reason that I had such a, a conflict of of emotions with this was you know, they, they featured us in the first place. You know, they, I, I don't know, you know, it was a very last minute thing. It could have just been that they had a slot available and they thought, right, we'll just, we'll, we'll get them on. You know, they, they're YouTubers. They might get us some views as well. Uh, they might get us some followers on, twi on Twitch. We'll, we'll, we'll feature those this week just before heists, get them out of the way. Um, but it, it, it can't be... You can't just, you know, negate the fact that they had us on in the first place. And despite the fact that it didn't go as well as we would have hoped, they, they, they gave us a chance to at least showcase something. Um, and I hope, I hope that we were able to reach some people who were watching that stream. Obviously, a lot of people in that stream were probably from both of our channels. Uh, as witnessed by the uh, the the chat at at some stage was quite hilarious, but I hope that we were able to get through to some people uh, to show that proper racing can be done on GTA, and if we did, then great. You know, even though we weren't able to showcase the full extent of it, you know, the battles that we had were missed, the devs were smashing into people all the time. Even though it wasn't as much of an elite racing crew battle as we would have liked or as it was advertised we were at least able to show some proper racing at some stage so I, I, it, it's difficult I'm still conflicted even now you know they, they did give us the chance to do this I don't think they fully understood where we were coming from this I don't think they have an understanding of the racing community uh, and and what we what we try to do with this uh, which is why it, it didn't go quite as well as we would have liked if we'd have done it ourselves because they just didn't understand where we were coming from and what we wanted to get from this and what we wanted to show you guys so they put the devs in as they normally do not realizing that you know that was something that we just did not want at all uh, well we didn't mind initially until we saw them smash into everybody all the time so it, it's difficult because for someone like myself who is you know I, I have 25,000 subscribers which is absolutely incredible but this is the first time that you know I've ever been through any of this kind of thing being featured on a huge by Rockstar Games you know it, it, there's a lot of it, it, it seems amazing but you can't get away from the fact that you know Shaggy Shaggy's been through it all you know he's he's an old school guy on YouTube he's got a lot of subscribers he knows the score he's less affected by the I guess you could say majesty of being followed by Rockstar on Twitter or anything like that. So the things that he's saying are true. You know, you can't get away from that. You can't get away from the fact that really it, we were let down uh, by the event. But we <laughs> we were given the chance in the first place. You know, we, we could have been ignored like we had been for months, months beforehand. Uh, so I'm not going to be thanking Rockstar Games for allowing us to do it 
because I don't think they allowed us to do it in the way that we would have liked properly. But I also can't speak too badly about them because they did allow us to do it in the first place. And that may seem wishy-washy, you know, um, but hopefully, hopefully we manage to get through to some people that this is something that you can do on GTA and y you can race properly. And even if we only got through to one person, then it would have been worth it. It wasn't worth our time uh, practicing and organizing and things like that. But I think our own expectations of it, because we hadn't experienced anything like this before, our own expectations of it were too high. You know, we thought it was going to be a lot better than what it actually was. And I have to ask myself the question, you know, knowing what I know now, would I still have done it? And my answer would be yes. But I wouldn't have had anywhere near the same level of expectation for it as I did initially. I really wouldn't have done. And I think that would have made it a lot easier to handle, you know. I would have gone into it prepared for the devs to smash everybody up. I would have gone into it, you know, knowing that this isn't going to be a serious event and just tried my best, rather than showcase things like that, just try and explain what we do better on the stream and, you know, try and get it over that way, the message over that way. I certainly wouldn't have practiced, you know. There was no need for us to practice for two days. There was absolutely no need for, to do that because it, the, the races were basically determined on uh, whether you got messed up by the devs or not. So, you know, I certainly wouldn't have put the practice in. I wouldn't have had all the stress of uh, being featured on such a large stage. You know, I wouldn't have had all of that. And it probably would have made the whole experience a lot better. Uh, I do think it was our expectations of it were too high. And I, I don't necessarily think that's our fault. It's, you know, the way that Rockstar... Uh, you know, uh, said how it was going to be and advertised it and all that kind of stuff, it built up our own expectations. It really did, you know. We thought it was going to be amazing. They, they hyped us up for it, um, and we just fell, fell right for it. So, um, but yeah, next, you know, if there ever is a next time that we're ever on this stream, or if I, was, if I had to do it all over again, I would still do it, but my expectations of it would be minimal. Uh, and I think that would really help with my sort of, conflicted feelings at the end of it but the good thing about it for me is that <laughs> the racing community if anything else is even closer than it was beforehand you know we all came together for this event to try and showcase what the racing community can do which was fantastic to see um and after the event you know all of the hilarious videos that i saw the the comic strips that i read um you know all of the the general thoughts and feelings from the racing community on gta were again great to see that you know we're all banding together we all feel a similar way um so from that point of view it's been good to see you know it's a good experience from that point of view to get that across and when it came to the fourth round of the multi-class endurance championship with ha which happened yesterday sunday um and I, I loaded up the stream, you know, I was so demotivated for it. I put in a you know, three laps practice or whatever it was uh, at the start of the week. And I was way off the pace and I just did not want to practice anymore. Um, I loaded up the stream and then I just saw all the same familiar faces that were, had been there for round one, round two, round three, round four. All saying hello, you know, excited about the event wanting to you know all here again still here ready to watch a proper racing event which is what i th you know think the multi-class endurance championship is and that was great you know it was just such a relief it restored my 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 faith in the whole thing really because from my perspective i do this for you guys i do this too because i love seeing comments saying Oh, I really enjoyed that video. Oh, that race was fantastic. Well done. Oh, oh you know, I, I just, I love your content. This has really helped me out. I love seeing all that stuff. I, I do this for you guys. I don't do this for Rockstar. I do it for myself because I enjoy it. And I do it for you guys. And to see everybody still there in the stream on uh, on Sunday, we actually broke our record of, uh, we, the previous record was 437 maximum. And by the end of the race, we had 582 so that's probably the effect of being featured on Rockstar maybe a little bit as well. But all the same familiar faces were there. The same people, week in, week out, who were always here with the community, with the racing community on GTA, 
were there again popping up saying hello watching the race and that was great to see that was absolutely brilliant to see and really it just restored my faith in the whole thing so it's been a roller coaster of emotions it really really has you know I, I, the, the one thing that I take away from it is that this is for you guys you know this isn't for Rockstar this isn't anymore going to be about trying to improve the game you know I don't think that anything that we say or do is going to do anything to make Rockstar change it. I honestly don't believe that curb boosts are ever going to be fixed. I don't believe that we're ever going to get a racing DLC. I don't believe that lampposts are going to be able to be removed. Any of the issues that we've ever brought up about racing on GTA, I don't believe any of it is going to happen and I'm going to stop trying to push for it as well. I'm going to focus solely on this community and try to uh, do my best to create a good community feeling with what we have right now continue the multi-class endurance stuff continue all of the racing events that we do when project cars comes out for sure i'm going to be focusing on project cars as well and do some proper racing on a proper racing game but i'm not going to just abandon gta not for rockstar not for the game itself but for you guys so those have been my thoughts those have been my total ramblings about the about the event let me know your thoughts down below it, it's as I say I've been completely conflicted about it I still am hopefully we'll hear back from Rockstar that you know we can we can tell them the the problems that we have but I, I don't have hold out much hope I do I do on some level appreciate them even featuring us in the first place and I do just hope that we manage to get through to some people uh, it, it's been very difficult to put down my thoughts about this which is why I've been so quiet about it for so long well, here it is you know this is it laid out and I'm not going to be talking about it after this I, mean, I don't want to talk about it I don't want to focus on it and I really appreciate those guys in the stream on Sunday as well you know I said at the start I'm, I'm not going to be talking about the live stream uh, and everybody just completely forgot about it and started talking about the muddy class endurance event so yeah um, I, I just want to say thank you to you guys more so than anything else I really do appreciate all of your support it's absolutely great to see and I hope that my videos, Shaggy's videos and the events that we do in the future, whether it's on Project Cars or whether it's on GTA or anything else, will continue to entertain you guys, help you guys improve and help you guys feel part of a racing community that we uh, that we try to create here. So thank you guys so much. I really, really do appreciate all your support as always. More videos to come this week. Multi-class endurance highlights on Friday. Definitely look out for that because it was a fantastic race and uh, everyone who watched it live really did get a treat. So watch out for that. It'll be coming on Friday, but other videos in between, obviously. Thank you so much for all your support, guys. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you next time.